I'll just go to my banks first. And here I see a list of all the banks supported and all the credit cards supported in expense management. And I have created a new bank here. What you do first, you create the bank that you would like to use and you can name it whatever you like. And then I'll go to navigate bank and transaction template. What I have to do now is to open the CSV file that I've downloaded from my bank. Um, and it's important that you keep it as a CSV file because, uh, and not to open it in Excel because otherwise that will destroy the, uh, the file. So what I need to do, I need to look at the file that I've downloaded. I need to clarify the encoding and that is noted here in the, um, in the notepad which encoding it is. I need to clarify the, uh, the separate idea, whether it's commie or semicolon. I need to clarify the, uh, the date format. And in this case, I have a long list of uh, date formats that I can choose from. So again, it's simply looking at the, uh, the CSV file and clarify the, uh, the format of the, uh, the date in here. Then I have to tell the system if there are any lines that need to be ignored. And in this scenario, I had two lines, which I don't want to import because these are, are not real transaction information. These are um, description of the, uh, the columns and the, um, the period that I've taken this file from. And if there were any footer, I would then add that as well. But in this case, there are no footers. Then I'll jump to the mapping of the fields or the columns in the CSV file and mapping it with fields inside expense management. So again, I'll have to look at the, uh, the file and define where is uh, card name, which column is that, the card number, document date, etc. And we have amount and the, um, the bank currency amount is in here as well. So one thing you just have to notice if the, uh, the amount is put in, in a minus, you would then have to click here to reverse it to, um, to, for the system to be able to read the file correctly. So once I have set up all of this, I would then go to open transaction import journal. And in here, I would find the file that I need to import into expense management. So I've put it on my desktop here. And now all of the transactions are in here. And you can simply go through all the transactions, make sure that they look correct. And once you've done that, you then approve and transfer. They will show in your role center on the, just need to update my role center. They will be lying here in unhandled inbox. And here you simply just um, do as you normally do with the first time you get transaction from your bank. You assign the card to the user and the system will automatically create expenses from all these information. So this is the same process as usual. And you can create as many templates as you want. Uh, so if you have several banks and you, you can simply just uh, set up the format for these.